Hey guys, on today's video I'm going to teach you how to transfer all your information from one Mac to another. So if you guys have an older iMac or MacBook Pro, you can transfer all that information into your new Mac. It doesn't really matter what Mac you guys have, whether it's MacBook Air, Mac Mini, iMac or Mac Pro, this is the way to do it. Alright, so let's just get started. Let's go right into Disk Utility. So you can find your Disk Utility just by going up here, going to your Spotlight Search and type in Disk Utility. So we're going to use an external hard drive in order to do this. That's very important to have if you guys care about your information, which I assume you guys do. And we're going to use this to transfer all our apps that are installed, all right? All the programs, photos, videos, and all information that you have in your Mac, your entire setup as well. So how do you guys do this? Yes, with an external hard drive. Just to show you quickly what an external hard drive is. So here are various external hard drives. You do not have to buy an Apple branded or anything that's on their website. Any external hard drive will work. These are just some that are on their website, but you guys can use any of them. And that way you guys have a backup of your computer, plus you get to transfer all your stuff safely. So let's just go right back into Disk Utility. Right here in Disk Utility, I have this. All right, so once you can plug in your external hard drive, you guys will see these options. Now you might see just this closed off like so, but if you click on this arrow and expand it, you guys will see this. All right, so that's my external right now. What you guys first have to do with an external hard drive is erase it. So we're gonna erase that external hard drive. All right, we're gonna use journaled, then we're gonna erase. Now this is a quick video of how to do this. If you guys want to know what time machine is and how to format an external hard drive and all the ways that there are in order to do this, I do have a separate video for that, but I wanted to make something quick for you guys today. So right now we have it set up and we're gonna set up Time Machine, all right? So Time Machine is already something installed on your Mac. So if you guys go to System Preferences, which is down here below, or if you guys don't see it there, once again, we're gonna go into our Spotlight Search and type in System Preferences. We're just gonna open that up now this is system preferences so again i'm going to zoom in so you guys can see and down here you guys will see time machine all right so let's just click on time machine time machine something pre-installed you guys do not have to download it's installed on all macs it doesn't really matter how old your mac is you guys have time machine right there so right now we see all these options however you guys will not see anything here and that's fine we're gonna have to click on add or remove so right now i can see my external hard drive is this one right here I never changed the name of it. It's just called external HDD. So I'm going to put in use disk. Once I do that, it's going to go here. So you guys can see it right now. It says external HDD and that's my time machine. So what you guys should turn on right now is backup automatically. So I'm doing all this on my old Mac, right? And right now I want this also checked on. And that's because I want to start this backup right now. So as long as you guys have that check mark on, that means up here, you guys should see this icon. So if you click on that icon, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, just click on backup now. All right, so we can start that backup right now. It's going to back up our entire Mac. Once it's done that, I would click on it again. So it does a second backup. All right, so once you guys are done doing that, it's really, really easy. We're just gonna have to go into our new Mac and plug this in. So I wanna show you that second step right now. Let's say that your backup is all done. We can get ready to transfer all your information to your new Mac, no matter what Mac it is. So in this case, this is another example of an external hard drive. It's not Apple branded, that's just a sticker. It's WD. Seagate's work just fine. In my experience, Seagate has worked fine. Western Union has worked for years, and those are fine. These are little ones. There's bigger ones that are better, but these little ones, passport size, they're okay. You guys can use this as time machine. They're just gonna be a little bit slower than the bigger ones. Now with new Macs, you guys might need this type of adapter because new Macs have USB-C, this type thing, and this is the regular USB. So this USB will not fit on a new Mac. So you're gonna need that type of adapter. That's just in case you guys don't know that, these adapters are really cheap. They're like $3 on eBay or Amazon. Instead of getting the $100 or $70 ones on Apple, you guys can purchase these. So we're gonna hook that up to our new Mac right now. All right guys, so now that you have this hooked up to your Mac and always have your Mac connected to some electricity, no matter what Mac it is, you guys will have to open it up. 
in order with MacBook Airs and MacBook Pros, as soon as you open them up, they're supposed to turn on and then you guys can begin the process. If you guys have a MacBook that has already been set up for you, then that means you guys, before you turn it on, you should be pressing Command R in order to do the whole process. However, this is a brand new Mac and we're gonna transfer that old information into this brand new one. So let's just open it up and it should turn on. If it doesn't, we can always tap right here and we should see that Apple logo loading up right now. Luckily, the setup process is very easy, so all we have to do is continue on. You guys can choose whatever language you guys want, or US, or wherever you guys are. Same deal right here, just pick US, Canada, it doesn't really matter. We will import everything from our old Mac anyways, all the settings. So right now, we will have to put tech and design, for example, if that's your Wi-Fi. Whatever Wi-Fi you guys have, you guys do need that in order to set up your new Mac. Once that's set, just hit continue again. And right here, that's the important part. So right now it does say, don't transfer any information now. That's for brand new Macs, but we do want to transfer everything from old Mac to our new one. And that's using this right up here, all right? So first option up here, that's Mac to Mac, all right? And we're gonna be using Time Machine. So right now, since we have our external hard drive connected, we're gonna see our Time Machine. In my case, I do have a MacBook, a MacBook Air, and several other Macs that have been backed up here. So I may see several sources for Time Machine, all right? So it's gonna look for those sources right now. Right now, you found one already, which is our Time Machine for MacBook. So we're just gonna hit right here on Continue. And then, like I mentioned, we do have two of them in my case because I'm transferring stuff from my MacBook Air into this MacBook Air. However, if it's an iMac, for example, same deal. You would transfer from that iMac to this iMac. Even my MacBook Pro stuff, I can transfer all that information to this MacBook Air. So I can switch and change everything like that. So it doesn't matter if you guys made the backup from a MacBook and you want to import everything into a MacBook Pro or Air, you guys can do that. So right now I'm gonna choose this because that's the backup that I want to transfer onto this Mac in this time. I'm gonna hit continue. So right now you guys are gonna see exactly this. You're transferring everything from that MacBook Air onto this Mac, all right? Or your MacBook Pro onto this Mac or iMac, Mac Mini or Mac Pro. It does tell you that applications are being transferred, documents, computer network settings, everything, all right, that you guys had in your Mac previously. Now, if you guys don't want to transfer applications, for example, programs that you have installed, you guys can take that out. Obviously, you guys can uncheck that. You guys can uncheck anything that you guys don't want to transfer on. But in this case, we want to transfer exactly everything onto this Mac. So we're just gonna hit on continue. So once I put in my password, all I have to do is hit continue. And then it's gonna take some time. So how long will this take? Well, it's not just the speed of your new Mac, but your external hard drive. Like I said, if it's a bigger external hard drive, they tend to be faster, the ones that you have to hook up to some electricity. Those are a little bit faster, and I'm actually using one of those, not the password one that I showed you guys, because those are a little bit slower, and I wanted to make this a little bit faster for you guys to see. So, uh, it also depends how many documents, how many gigs you guys are taking up from one Mac and you're transferring to this Mac. Obviously, if you guys have, let's say, 200 gigs in files from your old Mac and you want to import onto this Mac those 200 gigs, then you should have that space on your Mac, all right? So don't try to import a bunch of information that will not fit on this Mac, it's just not gonna work. So you guys can just let your Mac just sit for a while while it's transferring, and then once you guys get back onto it, it's gonna restart, okay? You guys should see this Apple logo at this point in time. After that loads up, you guys will see a light screen, then this right here, all right? So it should tell you right here, your data has been migrated and is ready to use. So then we're just gonna have to press on quit right now. And there we go, guys. So all I have to do is put in my password, one, two, three, four, hit enter, and I'm in. So all your information from your other Mac should be in this one at this point in time. Like I mentioned, it's all your photos, videos, apps, everything except for passwords. What I've seen with passwords that you do have to put them in again, such as this, your Apple ID. It's not every single time, but most of the times, yes, it's gonna ask you this. So after that, we have to do all the regular steps. So in this case, with this Mac, we have Touch ID. You guys might not have that. Don't worry about it. We're gonna just set that up, and that's just up here. Newer Macs have this, not all Macs. So if you guys have an iMac or something like that, 
don't worry about this, same thing with Mac Mini, but a MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, the new ones, they have this. So we're just gonna have to continue on, set that up. You guys may have Hey Siri as well on your new Mac. Again, depending which Mac you guys have. All right, guys, that's it for this video tutorial. We just migrated everything from one Mac to another, and that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here in the comments area, and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,